Okay, first and foremost, all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Shai, Bashem Raka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the hopeful elect. So I want to um share this dream I just had through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Which I definitely think is just a dream. Well, it's, it's just a dream, you know, not not a vision, but it's a dream to show that the Lord is getting ready to like uplift His men, so that His men can uplift Him, so that His faithful, loyal men can uplift Him. That's the whole point of 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 Him uplifting the whole full like, so that we can in return uplift His name, not ourselves, man. And I got a scripture too, but I'm gonna get into this um dream first. Um, so pretty much what happened, man. I was like, I go on like bike rides, and I went on one bike ride, and I went on a way that I never went before. Into an area that I've only been in, and according to the dream, I only been there once with a friend, but I never been there on my bike. As a bike ride, so anyway, I'm I go this way for the first time on my bike as a bike ride, and there just happens to be a mega party that that's coming from a cul-de-sac, going all the way up the street with a whole bunch of people. Then it turns out that all these people, as I hit the like the beginning of the block, I'm looking all the way down the street to where the party's actually at. And it's just people just filling up the whole street. And I'm at like the end of the street. And they were like, what the? It was like, uh, say my um, call name is uh, Dave or something. They were, say my call name is Dave. They was like, is that Dave? <laughs> they was like, is that Dave? It was like, who invited Dave? <laughs> It was like, who invited Dave? And I'm on a bike. I'm like, I ain't want to. I'm like, I ain't come here with, you know, my, and my mom, like, I didn't come here to hang out with y'all anyway. This is just, like, by chance. I'm just on a bike ride. I didn't want to come to this party. So, anyhow, they actually start to show me love or whatever. Uh, these the people I went to school with, these are all people that, that I was in high school with. Right, I reckon I like oh, you know what I mean, whatever, whatever, and uh, so, and for some reason I was like wearing um pajamas. I'm like I'm I'm wearing pajamas, bro, on a bike ride. I didn't mean to come here. And in my mind, I'm thinking this man's going just of the Lord anyway. So I'm like, this is the Lord. There's got to be the Lord that wants me here. So anyhow, it literally just transformed into. I guess I'm in the in the party now, except the party transformed into, on the outside, it was like rocking the house, like Project X type style, you know, house party, and then it just transforms into we all just sitting down at, at tables in like, in like a church, um, in like a church type scenario. And the thing is that we're having like a raffle at church. We're having like a church raffle. Where. You pretty much. Pretty much the point of the raffle was that. They were giving away money. You're doing something. To get back money. And. I just felt. Everybody's confidence. Within their God. During this raffle. During this raffle. But. My confidence was through the roof because I'm like, man, I got the true and living God, man. I got Yahweh Bashmal Shai. I got the true and living God. But the thing is, I felt everybody else's confidence too. You see, they, their confidence is going to fail them because remember, in, in the book of Luke, you got two different types of people out here, man. You got one person that built this house. 
upon the same, and he got another person that built his house upon a rock. So a rock represents your house shy. So and then I went once once like the raffle gets to me or whatever, I um I pretty much broke the bank. I pretty much broke the bank, man. Broke the system of how much money I earned in which, you know, they had to pay out. And then the guy the guy walked away to get us food or whatever and, and I was talking to everybody around me at my table and it was like, Oh man, he ain't gonna like this. It was like he ain't gonna like this. Wait till you see how much I um wait till you see how much I I, I earned. And in my mind so so pretty much, you know, at the end at the end of a raffle but that was pretty much the end of the dream right there. But the point is that at the end of the rap, at the end of the raffle, they tell you who won. So when they were going to show um, how much money I had received, I was ready in my mind within the dream. I was ready to say, to say, see, how Bash Masha is the true living power. You know, I was I was gonna let them know, man. I was gonna uplift the Lord. Because none of them, none of them broke the bank within that raffle. I literally won the whole, the whole thing. The Spirit Power Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. With flying colors breaking the bank. And like I said, I was getting ready to let them know. About the true and living power, man. And that was pretty much it. So, like I said, it just a, that was like a dream, but... It's also going to show that the Lord is getting ready to uh, to uplift his men so that we can uplift his name. So just imagine in a dream, everybody is going to be in, everybody's going to be in wonder and amazement that, you know, damn, he, re he got that much in that raffle. Damn. And yeah, it's because Jehovah Shemashah, we serve the true and living power, man. So let me get that in, uh, in the, oh, yeah, it's in the book of Acts already. I think that's like, uh, and it goes to show that these churches ain't nothing but, <laughs> I think it goes to show that these churches ain't nothing but, um, damn parties. Moving the block, man, with these speakers. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Acts 3. And. Acts 3. And, uh. You know what? You know what, man? I'll start at verse 6. So then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately, his feet and ankle bones received strength. Obviously, speaking upon a lame man that everybody knew. Because when you read up, right quick. Um. Gotta be verse 2, yeah. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to acts of them that entered into the temple. See? So everybody that walked past the gate, that wanted to go to the temple, walked past the gate of the temple, seeing this man. Everybody knew about him. Everybody knew about this guy. Because he go there. How much? Daily. So you can't miss him. Because he goes there daily. Right? That's like us going out. <laughs> weekly. You can't miss us. If you go out there it's Saturday, you can't. You're going to see us. You can't miss us. So. So now. 
verse 7, and he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. Goodness. So lucky. Like yeah, so I can say and really try to uh, interrupt this lesson, man. But anyway, man. It says, uh, uh, verse 8. <laughs> but it's, but it's, oh, it's crazy, man. It says, and he, and he leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising the Most High. Man, everybody, yo, can you? <laughs> And these are Israelites, all right? These are so-called Negroes, man. And you had a very few sprinkling of northern in there, well, which are your so-called Hispanics and natives. These are Israelites, all right? So can you imagine? It was like, what? It was probably like, what? <laughs> all right, we are lively stones, man. It's probably like, what? Yo, what a, yo, it was, their mind was blown, do you hear me, you know, then it says, uh, verse 10, and they knew it, and they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him, and here's the point in the next verse, and as a lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the power of our fathers, hath glorified his son, Yahweh Shai. See? So what? He begins to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So see, what's the point? Is that the Lord uplifted his men at that time so that they could uplift his name in front of everybody. So that everybody can know. Okay. And the Lord is getting ready to do this again. But at this time it's not going to be for everybody. It's going to be for the whole full elect. And the one third. Those 11th hour Israelites. Because this is the book of uh, Psalms. Psalms chapter 110 verse 3. It says thy people shall be willing. In the day of thy power. So when the Lord begins to increase, let me get that in the, of the Apocrypha. Yo, that was literally like a, a like this, Ecclesiastes or Sirach 2 and 3, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. See, so when the Lord begins to increase his men, that power within his men. It's going to cause astonishment and amazement to those who the Lord wants to uh, uh, come into the fold, man. Some are going to come in through, the, through that power that the Lord's going to give his men. And when that happens, we're going to, we are what, to uplift the names of Yahweh Ba, Shem Yahweh Shai. To show that they are the true and living power, man. You know, and I quoted uh, Luke the 6th chapter already. About how we build our house upon the rock. You know, so that's pretty much it, man. You know, wanted to sh sh uh, share that dream. Thought it was edifying to show, man. The Lord's going to uplift uplift his men real soon. He's going to uplift his men. So that we can uplift him. Not for our own sakes. Not for our own vain glory. Okay? Not so that all of a sudden we can think that we the man. But so that they can know. That Yahweh Bashmar Shai is the true and living power, man. Because just like in a dream, everybody was confident. Everybody was confident. But I had the confidence of knowing. I'm like, man, they don't know. They don't know, you know, what's really going on. They don't know the true and living power. 
you know, but it's crazy how, how also it began as a big freaking party, like house party pretty much, man. And then we get inside and it turned into a church, a church raffle, <laughs> you know, so the Lord's going to show who's, who's really his men. And it's not the, the so-called uh, churches, man. The Lord ain't dealing with those so-called churches. He's not, bro. All right, as 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 known as the harlot houses in the scriptures, you're worshiping a, a false god. Uh, you're not really keeping the true ways of the Bible. You how wish I said it, man. You honor me with your lips, <laughs> but your heart is far from me. Your mind is really far from the Lord, and you're really not followers of the Lord, man. You're really not. The Lord spoke upon true worshipers. You're really not a true worshiper. Okay. So, well, well, this was edifying with that. I'm going to say Shalom.